Simon Jogood on London's radio station. BBC Radio London. We're going to be talking to Jenny Holloway, who is the founder of Fashion Enter Limited and Tree from Stitchless TV, who has actually been on this show before. When I first moved to Afternoons, she used to come in and make things, literally, whilst the programme was on with her sewing machine. So this is the other side of Stitches TV. I've got my nighty on, even though it's sort of half past ten, because I'm going on BBC Radio London today. And whenever I go on, I do like to make something for the presenter, Joe Good. So I'm going to try and make this Russian fake fur hat in not half an hour, but 15 minutes. <laughs> So, off we go. I might need to speed up this bit. So I'm sewing the crown, but on the crown first, I am putting a Liberated by Stitchless TV label, and hopefully it's in the centre. So I'm doing that thing of overcomplicating it and using ridiculous fabric for the lining. Right, that's label on. Now I'm going to have to stay stitch around the edge because I've got this silly frilly stuff going on, so let's do that. Oh, I hope you can't see my hairy legs. So I used to have a regular sewing slot on BBC. Radio London when she had the the late show. Right, I've done that stay stitch now. Oh look, I might just trap that. In. There we go. But remember, you don't need to do a stay stitch. It's only for crazy people with crazy fabric. All right. Okay, Russian hat. Got a strip. That goes. That's about two inches bigger than the circumference of my head. Pushing the pile in, and I'm going to use a zigzag stitch, medium sized zigzag stitch, and only sewing on the edge. Right, when you've done that, it will look like that, and the right side, mm, look at that. That's why we cut the fur of the blade and zigzag on the edge, so that we get all the pile just coming over the seam, so it's like magic, and it hides it. Right, I need notches, and I need, oh, I've done them. <laughs> I need to mark out where halfway is and where the quarters are, but I've got to do it on the crown as well. Oh, I've done it on the crown, brilliant. Right, so this isn't a tutorial. This is you just watching me get ready to go on the radio. Well, I've got to decide which is the front. So I've got the pile going that way, so I guess that's the front. So I'm going to put it right sides together with my notch. It signifies the front, so I'm matching up the notch. And then I'm doing zigzag stitch, the same as I did a minute ago, matching up my notches as I go. Now I find it easier to have the circle crown on the top, like that. Zigzag. Really, oh, I've got to turn this the right way around, touch, or oh, inside out. Really pushing in that pile, so, so, so important <clears throat> as I match up my notches and go all the way around. Okay, so I've gone all the way around. Now, if it's too big or too small, you can sort of squidge it in, yeah? You can sort of ease things around. But let's have a look. It's a bit of a crazy hat. Okay, <laughs> so the idea is that we fold in, we fold that side, the bit, you know, the, the, the bit that goes around your head, whatever you call that. We fold that in, so, let's see. So hopefully it will look a bit like a Russian hat. Oh, I'm really running out of time now. I'm going to start at the back when I do the lining, but the important thing is that you leave about 10 centimetre gap so you can turn the hat through. 
So matching up notches again. So I'm starting at the back, pushing the fur in. Except this time, straight stitch. All right, quite a large stretch, straight stitch. Let's go. 10 centimeter gap, pushing everything in, lining up your notches and you should be fine. Okay, turn it the right way round. Looks like a complete mess, but it won't in a minute. Whew. Now you're gonna want me to try this on, aren't you? Right, you can't see inside very well, but inside there is all this kind of frilly sort of stuff. Can you see that? I'm gonna try it on and then I'll show you, but I've got to stitch up that little hole. Well, this is actually going to be her hat, I think, hopefully. But, um, I don't know, I might wear it going there. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, wish me luck. See you later. Settle down everyone and enjoy this bit because I haven't seen her for so long and if you could, must take a photograph of what she's wearing. So, both Jenny and Tree join me now in the studio. Tree with her sewing kit is going to be making something whilst we're on air. Hello Jenny and Tree. Hello Hi. Jo. Oh, now Jenny, forgive me because Tree and I, we're both the same height. It's like, it's <laughs> like, um, it really is stereo noise. But I've got a cold so I'm not going to be quite so noisy as I usually am. But Tree, it's so lovely to see you and you always come in wearing extra, you are truly one of the stylish people. Well, you're from East London, aren't you? No, well, I thought oh, you were West East London girl. I thought Very you were a hackney so. Oh, I might look like it because I'm so cool, but now well, you're always a cool. girl. <laughs> I mean, you would fit happening, I'll say that. Thank um, you. But you always come in, I go, oh my goodness, where did you get that? And you go, oh, actually, I ran this up last night because I knew I had to come in. Well, I think that's stunning. So how much would that have cost you? Okay, I'd say about £29. And how long would it have taken you to make it? Mm, an hour and a half. There you go. And it's <laughs> stunning. Jenny, welcome. Thank you. So tell me about yourself. How did you meet Tree? Well, actually, I was very inspired by Tree. Tree came actually with another client and she came along to our factory. And I said, Tree, you have to see what we're doing here. Well, we have a fashion studio and we can make any garment <laughs> for any person. So when Tree was talking about her wonderful dungarees, we can do that for anybody. And anybody can come along with an idea and we can create that idea, that illustration. It may even be a stick drawing, but we can actually make that into a garment to be proud of. I forgot, whilst we're chatting, uh, to ask what Tree is, because I can't see you, Tree, because um, you've got faux fur. So uh, what are you making whilst we're chatting? Right, first of all, can I say, before I came here, in 15 minutes, I made a fake fur Russian hat, which is going to be for you. You might not like it, but I you will, because it'll add height. <laughs> and, um, and then I stopped off in Shepherd's Bush, and I went to a shop. Am I allowed to say what the name is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Universal <laughs> Textiles. Downstairs, yeah. they've got loads of brilliant quality um, faux fur, otherwise known as fake fur, um, and I'm just quickly, I've cut out a circle using a blade, because when you cut fur, you've got to use a blade, but I did it on the shop floor in the shop, because I thought you wouldn't let me bring a blade in here. And Gosh, I'm just no, you wouldn't. You never get through security. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. And so I'm just doing a running stitch around the circumference oh. of it at the moment. And Have you finished? Well, I wanted to show you just quickly. We've only got one minute. Okay, one minute. I've taken the stuffing out of the bottom, literally the bottom, of my daughter's teddy bear. She doesn't know. Sorry, lovely Isabella. And I've used it to stuff my pom-pom. <laughs> so, so that will go on a hat like that. This poor child. You've got to be wearing her, your koala bear, your child's koala bear bottom on your hat. These pom-poms are everywhere, by the way, and they're quite expensive if you buy them. So you can make your own and put them on the top of the hat. And I shall be wearing the hat for the photograph that will go up. <laughs> can I thank you so much for coming in? Oh, Jenny Holloway, you. founder of Fashion Editor Limited and Tree from Stitchless TV. Jenny, just one more time. Where can people find out more? 
fashioncapital.co.uk. Thank you very much indeed. It is 2.30, time for the news.